This is the copy machine. It's a sampler that makes copies of sounds. Each copy that it makes will play back at a different speed. And just like on a tape recording, a different speed means a different pitch. And if you slow it down enough, you will hear the copy play in reverse. You can choose how many copies you want with the copy knob. The copy machine will play up to 32 copies of a sound at the same time. The copy machine will determine the playback speed of each individual copy, but you can adjust the overall range with the second knob here. There are five different modes. Dev 1 and 2 are random modes. The smaller values in Dev 1 tend to produce chorus or flanging kind of effects, and the much larger values in Dev 2, especially when combined with a large number of copies, will kind of transform any sound into a dense, chaotic cloud of noise. The remaining three modes, harmonic, subharmonic, and exponential, use mathematic expressions to determine the playback speed of each copy. There's some really interesting interactions that can be found in these three modes, uh, some of which are more predictable, um, but they can also be just as bizarre and chaotic as the random modes. It really just depends on the samples you're using and the settings that you choose. <laughs> In the waveform editor, you can choose which part of the sample you'd like to play. Try zooming way in and selecting just a tiny piece. With the loop button engaged, Copy Machine can turn even a very simple piece of audio into an endless variety of strange waveforms or exotic chords. Use Copy Machine to layer percussion sounds. In either of the first two modes, the sound will be different every time. If you like what you hear, you can keep it that way by pressing the lock button. As a final experiment, you could put your entire track into the Copy Machine and play it back at multiple different keys and tempos all at the same time. Sometimes it's actually a real improvement. And that's the copy machine. I'm certain that you can find so many interesting uses for this device in your music production and in your sound design. When you do, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And thanks for watching. <laughs>